Hi everybody, I am Julie Matheny. I am a speech pathologist and international board certified IBCLC lactation consultant. Today I'm going to talk about Botox and lactation. I occasionally get asked, can I do Botox injections while breastfeeding? I personally don't use Botox because that's why I use filters on Instagram, but I do get questions about it occasionally. Um, before we talk about Botox and lactation, I want to remind you that while I am an IBCLC lactation consultant, unless you have signed a medical consent, I am not your IBCLC lactation consultant. So um, this discussion is based off of current science and research, best evidence-based practice, but I don't know your medical history. You are not my patient if you are watching this. Um, and I don't know what you have available in your community or anything about you. So if you are considering Botox while breastfeeding, always discuss any medical treatments or protocols with your own personal healthcare providers. If you want to talk to me, I am more than happy to become your IBCLC. We can definitely arrange that and have a discussion. Um, but let's jump into Botox and lactation. Currently, there are are no specific research studies on Botox and lactation. But the short answer is it's considered safe to do Botox injectables while breastfeeding. Let's dig into the science behind how and why we know that and then how to guide your decision of the risk and benefit of doing Botox while breastfeeding versus waiting until you've weaned. So we know that um, the when we're looking at medications and breastfeeding, there will never be extensive studies on certain medications like Botox during lactation. It's unethical to conduct studies like this and companies don't make any money off of them. But we need to consider um, lots of other information on how medications transfer into breast milk. And that same information then can apply to any medication that we are then studying or have questions about. So we look at the molecular size, how big is the molecule? If you remember high school science class, every molecule has a different molecular weight. And the size of that weight tells us whether or not it can get into your bloodstream, which can then get into your milk. So we look at molecular size, half-life, which is how long a medication would stay in your system, milk to plasma, plasma ratios, protein binding and bioavailability. So we have lots of factors that we can study in medications, even if we haven't done a specific study on a medication and lactation. So what we do know is that the molecular size of an injectable Botox into the face, um, that molecule is too big to actually um, enter into your system when it's done intermuscularly, and that it's considered unlikely that that molecule could ever be excreted into breast milk. So uh, we do have resources like Hale's Medications and Mother's Milk, Elactancia and infant risk. These are our gold standards for when we're researching medications and their safety during lactation. From medications and mother's milk from Dr. Hale, when injected properly and direct, uh, injected directly into the muscle, Botox or the uh, botulin A does not enter systemic circulation, meaning it's not going to enter your bloodstream and milk is made from blood. When maternal plasma levels are low, absorption into breast milk is very unlikely. Waiting a few hours for dissipation of any toxin would all but eliminate any risk to the baby. Also avoid use of generic or unknown sources of botoxulum toxin, as some are known to produce significant plasma levels in humans. So what does that mean? This is always a good discussion. Know who your providers are. If you are going to do Botox injections while breastfeeding, don't go to a strip mall in downtown LA where you don't know who is going to be giving you that injection or what they are going to be doing or using. So per the research, Botox, the actual brand name, not a generic, not some random filler, from a qualified provider is not expected by molecular weight to enter your breast milk. Other chemicals from unknown fillers or injectables could enter your breast milk. We don't know specifically what all of those are. We'd have to look up all of the ingredients. Anyone who wants to use specifically Botox while breastfeeding gets to make a choice whether they want to wait until they've weaned their baby 
whether they want to pump and dump uh, temporarily after they have that injectable or wait for several hours to make sure that that has completely cleared from their body um, or not, as well as the quality of the provider that they're using and what is actually being used in their body. So it's a really good discussion to have. Um, when, again, when adequately and locally administered, meaning you're doing an injectable on your face, serum levels of Botox should be low and should have no uh, possibility of actually getting into your breast milk. So there is the science behind if you want to go get those Botox injections while breastfeeding. Um, now you know.